Okay, so Fisherman's Bay. The quick 30 seconds of this map is the main points are going to be around the city and around here. Sometimes the one line can be very useful if you have the numbers advantage. Because if you don't, then you're going to get destroyed by anyone sitting up here and vice versa, anyone sitting over here. Uh, medium tanks, you can basically go wherever you want on the map, although mainly around the middle of the map is where I'd suggest you go. Heavy tanks, into the city. Light tanks, you can active spot and scout around here. And TDs, sit over here, or if you're more heavily armoured, go into the city. That's the quick 30 seconds over. Let's now get into all the spots. Okay, so the first spot for the light tanks is going to be just around here. Um, Basically everywhere around here, this is just the active spotting. You just want to crest this ridge line and then pull back down behind it. As you can see, we're, we're completely safe at this at this point from this ridge line here, as you can see right there. Uh, there will be enemies sitting in there. There can be TDs, there can be uh, light tanks, even heavy tanks for some reason sometimes sit in there. Um, I don't really know why, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, but you can be a little bit more aggressive. It depends on how you want to play the tank and how you want to you know play in general uh, if you're in an EBR you can afford to like kind of do this if you're in a normal light tank then just try and play a bit more safe um, and just crest the ridge lines and then pull back down now and again you know just being a bit of a nuisance to the enemy team um, what you can do also at the start of the game which is the next spot you can go into this position right here and this will give you lots of info straight on in the game whether or not the enemy are going to be sending many people over to this bit over here so straight from this, you'll be able to see anyone that's trying to cross here. As long as they don't go and dip behind here, which is a lot of times they do, um, you should be able to spot them. Uh, there usually are one or two people that will go along the road for some reason. But this spot is completely useless if you if the enemies go and dip behind this ridgeline and just go like that. It's basically completely useless. You shouldn't... Um, ever go and do that in the enemy team uh, go along that ridge line uh, always go behind it to um, to get into the city next spot is over here in these bushes straight away you'll be you'll really see yeah it's exactly the same kind of thing uh, although you will actually spot people that are going into the city because you have more of a uh, open space that they have to go through um, and a lot of people do just go straight through like this where you'll spot them instantly uh, you can even go and back out from the bush and then do a tracking shot, go back through, um, let your enemy or let your team, sorry, shoot on them and then, you know, that's it, game over for them. Uh, quite a few times I've seen very slow tanks do this. Do not do that. If you're in a slow tank, always go around and just try and give as wide a berth as possible. Um, once you get to about here, you're usually quite safe. Um, it's just if you go along this bit, make sure you have a faster tank. Uh, because there's no point going along this bit in a Type 5 Heavy or something. Uh, it's just, you know, yeah. But yeah, that's um, that's the spots for these, these two sides of the map. Uh, I'm now going to show you the spot here and here, and then we'll be done with the light tanks. Okay, so for this side of the map is just in here. Um, now, you want to try and get kind of deep into this bush, because if you don't, then you chances of you getting actually spotted by over someone's actively scouting over here is quite high. So you want to be in here and just spot anyone along this ridge line. So this is for, you know, like an ELC even 90 would be amazing in here uh, because you have all this vision for there and you're never going to get spotted in here if you're an, e if you're an uh, ELC even 90 because you're tiny. So you can also spot people that are coming down from here and also crossing this little bit here. So you have lots of vision and lots of potential for spotting on, on this spot. Uh, you can also spot anyone that's trying to active scout that have just peeked up over here, for example. So this spot's very nice. Now I'm going to show you this spot over here, which is on the other side of the map. Okay, so over this side of the map, you can go into these bushes up here. Uh, now be warned, you don't want to go too far back because there is like an open bit here where you can get spotted through. So anywhere up here and anywhere that doesn't really reveal the sides of your tank. So in the positions, for example, like this one here if I was to go into this spot like this obviously I'm very very exposed not from the front but from the side so if I'm going to go into this bush I would make sure that I go into it like this uh, and then I shouldn't be spotted from anyone that's over that way um, just keep in mind obviously people with a lot of view range will be able to spot you still um, if you're trying to get up into that bush 
But any with anything like this, this spot's great anywhere along this ridge line. It's perfect. Now, medium tanks, as we know, are the most flexible tanks in the game, or at least most of them are. Uh, so these spots, are, I'm going I'm to show you one and two right here. Uh, you can also kind of go anywhere around the city, um, but obviously take this with a pinch of salt because you can go wherever you want, basically. Um, I would not go into the city if you're a lightly armored medium tank, such as a Leo or even the TVP. Uh, it doesn't really make sense if you go into the city. Uh, you've got better options around here or around here. Um, but just play however you feel comfortable, and the majority of the time you'll do well in your medium tanks. Now, one thing I want to mention straight away is these two bushes right here, do not trust them, okay? These bushes, uh, I don't know what's wrong with them. They look like they should support you pretty well, but sometimes you can just get spotted straight through them, even if you're double bushed. If you're like this, and you know there's no one over there, and you shoot straight through like this, everything that World of Tanks have ever told you about concealment mechanics just goes out the window, and you get spotted straight away by this person that's sitting over there. As you can see, this is a solid bush. You shouldn't be spotted. Even if you're all the way back here, you still get spotted. I don't really know why. I mean, yeah, there are a few spots here and here. But even if you're up like this and you're shooting through, you still get spotted by the person that's directly in front of you. Who knows why, but just be careful. Act like these bushes aren't even there. Uh, sometimes they can steal you, sometimes they don't. Uh, but that's the first spot. You just want to be playing around here, shooting down there. You can even move up to here and try and shoot across if you want to, and just use this building as cover. You can also go and shoot over that way and all the way over to there. So if any light tank is spotting over here, then you can actually spot them over there. Uh, sorry, shoot them over there. So this spot's very nice. Um, and for the other side, is just exactly the same. And you can go into any of these bushes here, for example. I wouldn't really ne recommend going into here. Uh, behind this building because you don't really have a bush to defend you with or defend yourself with so anywhere around here Just play play around in the city. You'll soon find a, a spot that you like around here uh, But yeah, that's medium tanks then go wherever they want But mainly I would say go into the middle of the map and try and do as much damage as you can Okay, so now moving on to the heavy tanks um, if you actually have good gun depression you can go into the middle uh, like the positions that I showed you with the uh, medium tanks and um, Although, you do need good gun depression and you will need a strong turret armor to be able to do that. So something like Cranvon or um, Emil's, stuff like that. Um, as long as you feel comfortable doing it, then you can do it. Uh, but majority of tanks are going to go into the city. Now, there is a bush right here where you could actually side scrape on this corner like that. Um, or like this, sorry. Uh, where you just go here. Although, 277 isn't the best for side scraping because it's pretty flat here so anything that shoots it is just going to get penned most of the time uh, but yep you can go there to push the city you're going to need to first at least find out that there's no one sitting here if there's no one sitting here then you can push this uh, i would not suggest pushing alone because the chances of you dying just you know never push something alone never be alone on any point of the map if you're alone on your own uh, and you, you know you, you're not the, you're not the only person on the team at that point. Um, then there's something wrong, and you need to fall back to go with your team again. There's also positions around here where you can go to, and there's also a position in here which I'll just show you now quickly. In around here, where you can actually go and shoot across into over either here and here. So if you want to shoot over there, you can and use these archways as cover or you could pull back all the way and you can shoot through the archways over there. Um, so there's plenty of positions around the city that you can go to. The exactly the same thing is for the other side of the map. Uh, as you can see here, you can just play around here in these bushes. Uh, you can't actually double bush yourself. Um, there is also another bush that's just further back around this point here where you can go behind. Uh, but... You know, you are quite far back, and you can also get spotted by anyone that's, you know, coming over here if you're going to go around like this. That's why I would always recommend following the path that I took and go around like that. But yeah, just in general around here, there will be plenty of other tanks going into position, so you can just pick a position and just try and hold it. See how it plays. Try out different positions around here, see what works for you, see what works for different tanks, and then, uh, you know, move on. That's it for heavy tanks, because there's not really much else you can do. Um, apart from going to the middle as I've already stated. Uh, but yeah, let's now move into the final class, the TDs. 
Okay, so the TDs. Now, anywhere around here, if you can find a bush, just sit in it. Um, basically, this is just where you want to be, just around here, and just try and find a bush and sit in it, and you're going to spot... Oh, sorry, you're not going to spot anyone, but you're going to shoot anyone that you can see. Um, the, major the majority of the time, you won't get spotted for this, because you are quite far back. Uh, but there's plenty of bushes as you can see if you want a little bit more cover then you can use these houses as your form of cover uh, a few of these are destructible such as this one right here uh, as you can see if I fire at it yeah half of that's gone uh, but you can actually use these rocks as well and there's a few bushes here for example where you can go into so this spot's quite nice uh, you can overlook quite a bit and s s shoot anyone that you can see over there so that's also a nice spot. Um, bearing in mind, you're well outside their uh, view range, that, so they won't be able to spot you back, uh, and they're only just inside your render range. So any further back than this, then you won't be able to spot them, obviously, or see them. So to keep that in mind, but yeah, this is this spot for over here. It's pretty basic, you don't really have to do much. Um, that's just the TD life, you know, you, don't, <laughs> you can't really do much unless you're in an assault in TD. So... There we go. Let's now move on to the other side and wrap this guide up. Okay, so this spot over here is mainly for if they're going to be pushing down here. As you can see, you've got great vision for all the way down here. Um, all the way up to that rock over there. You'll be able to shoot them and spot and see them. Um, you can also go forwards a little bit and then you can see anyone that's in the city or, you know, this half the city. Um, you can go to this position here, which is the one that I've already shown you in the light tanks. Um, so that is actually a good option for you if you want to go there um, but if you want to stay as far back as possible and still do damage then around here is the best you can go for example to these posi this position right here um, and use that to your advantage and shoot into the city um, you can also go to, up to these houses over here and do the exact same thing there's plenty of bushes over here um, as you can see, there's even this rock here that you can go to. Plenty of bushes that you can go to. No problems. Uh, but yeah, that's the map guide for Fisherman's Bay. Hopefully you did find this interesting or at least useful. Uh, if you did, then drop a sub, uh, drop a like. Uh, come join the Discord and also follow me on Twitch. I'm going to try and stream every day at 6pm. Uh, that's UK time or GMT. Uh, so yeah, come and give me a follow. Come and hang out if you want to. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in a bit.